Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie, your intuitive reader. Today I'm back with another pick a card reading. So today's pick a card reading is going to be about who has a crush on you currently. So we're going to look at their sign, um, their initials, and some of their qualities. So if you guys would like a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy shop is down below and please make sure to subscribe for more content. So we have three piles here, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number one is this stone. Pile number two is this one. And pile number three is this one. So if you need a little bit more time to meditate on which crystal and which pile to choose, go ahead and pause the video and do that. Otherwise, we're gonna jump right into the reading. All right, so this is for those of you who chose pile number one with this crystal. Who is crushing on you right now? Let's first look at the tarot cards. So the first tarot card we have is the Emperor. Okay, so already some Aries energy. We then have the Moon. Okay, Piscean energy. Sixth house with Craft. Opposition with balance. And then we have the oracle card of laughter. Okay, pile one. So automatically, actually, let's go ahead. I have just the signs here. Let's see what other signs come out. So, so far we have Aries and we have Pisces. Let's see what else. I'm going to draw two signs here and see what you guys get. Okay, this makes sense. We have Taurus based on the other cards here, which we'll get to in a second because I was getting a lot of earth energy there. And then one more we'll pick. And we have Aquarius. So one of these or all of these is currently crushing on you right now. Pile number one. Now, I feel as if you already know this person. I feel as if this person is possibly a coworker, but either way, you guys really get along. There's a lot of laughter to be had between the two of you. But this person is kind of interesting because, um, by the way, with these signs, this could be you as well. You could be one of these signs too. Um, so if that resonates. But I feel as if this person kind of balances you out. So here it says mirrors and relates but when I see the word balance I think of like a teeter-totter so or a seesaw is another word for it um I feel as if this person might be your opposite so opposite sign or just opposite in the way that they are but you guys still have a lot of laughter you find them very funny you find each other funny now with craft coming through this is all about work so like I said could have to do with a coworker, but this is also about um, just practical things. So maybe you guys met doing something practical, like here we have well-being, health. So maybe you guys met in the gym. Maybe you guys um, met in some sort of class, maybe school. But I feel as if this is somebody you already know. It could be a new person though, if it was. So for the vast majority of you, it's gonna be somebody that you've met and that you guys get along, it's funny, things like that. However, this could be somebody that you have not met yet. Now with the energy of the emperor and the moon, this person is, I feel as if it's a masculine energy. So it could be a man, a boy, but it could also be a female that, just has a lot of masculine energy but the emperor is somebody who kind of has this king type ruling energy so very responsible steady um just just very what's the word like even keeled like uh but but also very intuitive so this person with the moon here 
I, I do feel as if they are somebody who is emotional, but with the moon, it talks about things being hidden. So maybe they haven't shown their emotions yet to you, or maybe they're just now showing their emotions to you, but either way, they're not out there wearing their heart on their sleeve for anyone. Now with the Taurus energy here, which kind of corresponds with the sixth house craft, as well as the Aquarius energy, um, they could be somebody that, yeah, experimental, rational. So somebody who is, that's a good word, very rational, very um, just responsible. But with Taurus too, somebody, yes, practical, earthy, okay? So that's really interesting. Now, for the next thing I'm going to do, I am going to pull some initials and this could also spell out a name i'm going to pull a handful of them just a small handful we're going to pull them right here so go ahead and you guys look we have an m an o an a an e a y an i and a G. So go ahead, if any of those make sense to you, you know, like if their first name is an A, last name is a G, or vice versa, if you guys make sense, if you see a name out of here that makes sense to you guys, go ahead and look at that. Now, in terms of them reaching out and telling you about their crush, I am gonna look at this tarot deck and we are going to see the time frame for when they're going to come forward and tell you about this crush, okay? So let me pull a card and we'll see what comes out. Okay. Okay, interesting. So we got sixes both times. We have the six of wands. And we have the six of cups, right? So this is also playing again into the um fact that you may know them i feel as if they are a person from your past with the six of cups there's a lot of reminiscing when you think about this person but with the six of wands as well this is somebody that gives you recognition so it could be from work it really could be or from school um, but if we're looking just at the time frame we have two sixes here so wands are fast moving energy and cups are slow moving energy and we have sixes. So fast and slow can mean different things for different people. However, in your circumstance, they kind of cancel each other out with the cups being slow and the wands being fast. So I'm going to get one more card there. We're still going to take the sixes into account. All right, we got this card, wait, which card fell out? It was, okay, yeah, it was this one. Okay, you got the Three of Wands, so yes, fast moving energy, and Three of Wands is a very positive card about looking out into the horizons. So, I'm feeling as if, when I say fast, I usually mean days to weeks, and long is months to years. So I would say anywhere from three days to six months, okay? So that's rather, um, or excuse me, three days to six weeks. So at the most, I feel like two months from now, which is actually really close. So from three days to six months for when this person, your crush, is going to be reaching out to you, pile number one. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. So next out, we have those who chose pile number two with this lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli. I hear many pronunciations of this crystal. Beautiful. Okay, so who is your crush? Crush. What are their initials? When are they going to be reaching out to you? What are they like? Let's see. So we're going to start with your tarot cards. First off, we have the six of wands. Next off, we have the chariot. 
We then have Pluto with transformation. We have the first house with self. And then we have feeling safe. Okay, pile number one. So already I'm seeing Cancer energy and I'm seeing Scorpio energy. But we're going to get some more information about the direct signs. So, so far we have Cancer and we have Scorpio. Let's see, we're going to get two more signs that I'm seeing for you guys. Now this person, this is one person, but you know, it could indicate more than one person as well. All right, so first out we have Gemini. Okay. And then we have... Oh, that's not the right card that got mixed in. Sorry about that, guys. That was a planet card. We have Libra. Okay, interesting. So we have air sign energy. We have water energy. So we have water energy and air sign energy. And then here we have a little bit of fire. But I would say mainly, so Libra, Gemini, Cancer and Scorpio is the signs I'm getting. Now let's get into some of the characteristics of this particular person. So with those in mind, I do feel as if this person is, I'm getting a lot of feminine energy. This does not mean that this is a woman, right? This is just somebody who's very intuitive, communicative, curious, empathetic, I would say. Um, but with the chariot here, this is about somebody who goes full force for their dreams. Now, keep in mind, as I'm talking about this, you, you know, some of these people, some of these signs that are coming out could be you as well. So keep that in mind. Um, like maybe they're a Libra, you're a Cancer, you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, so with the Six of Wands, though, I feel as if this person makes you feel really special. And we also have the Feeling Safe card. So I feel as if this, again, is kind of like pile number one. This is somebody that you already know. Maybe they're not present in your life right now, but I feel as if you have met, you know of them, they know of you, and you feel really safe around them. Um, they feel, I'm getting like this protector energy. And with the self card coming through with the first house, it feels as if, uh, it feels as if your insecurities kind of melt away when you're with them. They make you feel so comfortable with who you are. And then with Pluto transformation, I feel as if they've seen you go through this transformation or maybe they've gone through a transformation. Either way, there's been some definite death and rebirth energy within you guys' relationship or within their personal life. And this person, I feel, has changed a lot about themselves, or you have, and you guys are going full force ahead with your lives, with your careers. Now, with... This feminine type energy of them being empathetic, of them being intuitive, I do as well feel, though, as if they're not very shy. I feel like they're actually quite extroverted. I feel as if they are very social. Maybe they do have a lot of friends or they're easy to get to know, but they have picked, in a way, picked you to to um, have this crush on like I feel like maybe a lot of people do find them attractive maybe they've had a lot of romantic suitors that have come up to them and like want to go out with them or interested in them but I feel as if they've had their mind and heart set on you for a while and so they have politely declined um, several um, offers from other people to be with you now again we have we have Pluto and we have the butterfly energy so change so this is all about metamorphosis maybe i'm feeling like maybe they were a bit of somebody who you know maybe had a lot of lovers kind of went out a lot and now they're kind of settling down and wanting to be with one person and spend time with one person okay <clears throat> excuse me and i feel like that person is you now let's look okay in terms of, let's actually look at the initials next. So I have a bag here of letters and we're gonna see the initials of this person 
or maybe it'll spell out their names or your initials, something that means something to you. So I'm gonna get a small handful and we're gonna see what comes out. So we have A, we have an S, we have an H, Ash, maybe short for Ashley or just Ashton. We have a T, a D, and an R, okay? So you can use those for initials, for names. I mean, you guys are probably gonna see if it resonates with you, names right away. Um, for me, this is what I am getting. Now, in terms of the actual time in which this person is going to come out, I have another tarot deck here, and we are going to see when they are going to come forward and when they are going to express this love, this admiration for you. Okay, for pile number two, when are they going to express the admiration for them? Interesting, we have judgment. Okay, so like I was thinking by looking at the first house too, I feel as if you are going through an awakening right now, pile number two, a spiritual awakening, and the judgment card just solidifies that for me. So I feel as if this person is also going through an awakening. They could be a soulmate. They even could be a twin flame. And you guys are meant to come together at this particular time. Now with judgment card, I am getting the number 20, but we're gonna see what else comes out. So know that 20 could be significant, 20 days, maybe 20 months. Okay, interesting. We have the Hermit coming out with a nine. So they could be a Virgo as well. Um, somebody that looks within, somebody who, see, I feel as if, like I said, they are social, but they're not showing everybody their emotions, only those who they truly care about. But let's look at a minor arcana card because those really tell me, oh my gosh, yes, just what I was talking about, two of cups. So this is definite soulmate slash possible twin flame energy with this person. The two of cups though, the cups energy, um, yeah, the cups energy is slow and the way I see it, wands and swords are quick, fast moving, pentacles and cups are slow moving. And when I say slow, I usually put that in the category of months to years. Um, and then for the quick movement, I put it in days to weeks. So this could be either mean two months or two years, okay? I have to say I'm feeling as if this is going to be closer to the two months, but it could be any time. It could be two years as well. Let's get one more card just because I like to give a range. Let's get one more card. All right. Interesting. The chariot. So again, all right. The chariot, again, we have. So they really could be a cancer. But the chariot, we have here numbers eight or seven, excuse me, and six, six, seven, two, nine. Okay. So I would say, okay, three major arcana cards though. So to me, that tells me that this definitely is somebody going through a major transformation. You're going through a major transformation, major life lessons in this lifetime. And with the two of cups, possible soul soulmate, possible twin flame. Sorry if that's too far away for you guys. So I would say, I'm going to say for you, could be two months, could be two years, closer to two months, could also be up to, I'm going to say nine months, maybe two to nine months. That's, that's what I'm really getting when I think about it. Two to nine months from now, this person is going to most likely come forward and express themselves to you about their crush. So I hope you guys enjoy this reading and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.
All right. Lastly, we have group number three with this beautiful stone. Who is your crush? What are their initials? We're going to look at what they're like, their traits, and when they're going to reach out to you. So let's start with the tarot. First, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. Heavy energy to begin with and the Four of Cups. Okay. Interesting. We then have Sextile with Opportunity. We then have the Eleventh House with the Edge. And then lastly, we have Visualization. Okay, so before we pull actual signs, I'm first going to say I'm getting heavy X energy or somebody that you've known for a long time, but heavy X energy, which might not be what you guys want to hear, but I'm just putting that out there for the vast majority of you. This could also be a person that is presently in your life that you haven't given much thought to. So with the Four of Cups, it's kind of like, Maybe they've offered their love to you in the past and you've rejected them. Maybe you guys have had a relationship and it didn't work out. Or maybe they're just somebody in your life that you haven't thought of in a romantic way. Now, with the Ten of Swords, I feel as if this person has been through a lot mentally, okay? They might have been through some mental abuse, maybe with a past partner or parents or something like that but um, they do have a lot on their plate. Now, with the sextile coming through with opportunity... Okay, I feel as if this is an opportunity that will present itself to you, but you have to go for it. I feel like this person, we'll see more about what sign they are, but I'm feeling just from this energy that maybe you guys are friends right now, or maybe you decided to just be friends, but maybe you've been thinking about like, oh, you know, I could never be with them. It's never going to work or they don't think of me that way or vice versa. And in reality, if you guys seize the opportunity, you guys would be a really good couple. I already feel as if you do do group work together, like maybe at school, maybe at work, maybe you've done projects together, but either way, you've been places together as friends. Now, with the visualization card, this is interesting. I feel like this is telling me that you guys need to take a moment and really work on your manifestation techniques. The manifestation, it, um, a, your manifestation ability is really heightened right now. And it usually is. I feel like you guys are very empathetic, very intuitive people. But right now at this moment, there is that heightened sense of being able to manifest your desires. And I recommend, like I recommend in almost all my videos, it seems like nowadays, um, you are able to co-create your own reality by scripting, by writing in a journal, by practicing um, doing affirmations, different mantras, things like that. But I feel as if you visualize yourself with this partner that you will, you know, if there are things that maybe, you know, you you regret doing or they regret doing or maybe sorry there's a little fly um you can change some of those things like by just you know manifesting it like for instance maybe they were kind of closed off before and now you write like we don't want to change people right but maybe you write like so and such is more open with me in our in our relationship and we almost want to write in the present moment when we are manifesting now i'm going to look at the particular sign though so i have just the signs here the zodiac signs and we're going to look at what their sun sign is i'm going to draw two so if this doesn't resonate with this particular sign this could also be the moon sign it could be the rising sign or it could play a major role in their chart this also could be your sun sign in here or moon or rising so what do we have? First card, we have Virgo with the Alchemist. Yes, I was getting heavy earth energy from the way the cards were reading. Let's see what comes out next. Next, we have the... Oh, right. Interesting. Pisces, the mystic. So, kind of like group number two, I feel like this person has this outer earth energy layer to them, but then inside they're very emotional. They're very imaginative, um, empathetic, and they only show this side of them 
when they're around you or when they're around somebody that they really care about. Now here we have four of cups again, so that could be that water Piscean energy. And then here we do have some air sign energy as well. So that might mean something to you. Let's go ahead and look at their initials. Slash, one second here guys. I gotta get these cards over here because I forgot to put them back in the deck, okay. Um, this could be their initials or letters in their name or your name or nicknames, whatever. Um, could be multiple people crushing on you as well. That is what I am getting. Let's see what we have. So first off, we have a, the letter A. Second off, we have the letter N. We have O. We have H, D, E, and A, another A. So if you guys can spell out names, I see Noah right away. Sometimes, you know, you guys are going to see the names faster than I am. I do see Dan as well. I also see Ann. Oh, actually, no, I don't. There's only one N. Dan. I see... Am I seeing anything else that I want to point out? No, I am not, not today. However, you guys, if you see a name, and then of course initials, so for instance, your initials might be AD, their initials might be NE, or, you know, however you want to see it, but those are the letters that I'm getting. Now, lastly, I'm going to pull from this tarot deck and we are going to see timing for when this particular person is going to reach out to you, pile number three. So let's see what we get. Pile number three, when are they going to reach out? And like I was telling the other groups, okay, pentacle energy is slower energy, pentacles and cups, and then swords and wands are faster energy so so far we have a three of pentacles so that is the slower energy but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing it just means that this relationship in order for them to come forward is going to take a little bit more time and i will get into the specifics in one second i'm going to pull one more card just so we have two different time frames we can look at what popped out here okay interesting death card so I feel as if this person is going through a transformation like we did talk about. They've been through a lot. So this also could be Scorpio energy. So that could be with, you know, that wa heavy water energy, which I feel like they might have a water moon and then maybe a earth um, sun sign. But it doesn't have to be, right? This is just, you know, just to look. Now, with the Three of Pentacles, again, I feel like you guys have worked together. You have collaborated together. You have maybe been friends together. And with Death card, again, that's Scorpio energy. That's water energy. So, again, it's that slower energy. So, and I feel like it's slower energy not because of you, but because of the fact that they are going through something and they have been going through something for a while now, and it's just something that needs to play out. And then also you have to once again, or maybe for the first time, look at them as romantic because I feel as if you've rejected or haven't really allowed yourself to feel those feelings for this particular individual. So I am seeing for the slow uh, signs, I see that as being months to years. For the fast signs, I see that being days to weeks. So anywhere from three months to this would be 10 11 12 13 years but i don't think it's years i'll be honest of course guys i think it's anywhere from three months to 13 months so basically three months to a little over a year from now before this person reaches out to you and i feel as if with this person um oh i see dean okay just saying i'm seeing a lot of male names here dean just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> um, you guys probably see so many more than I do. But this particular person, you can try approaching them yourself, but I'm feeling as if it might not go in your favor because they're just not ready for a relationship right now. They're healing. They're doing a lot of healing. Okay? So that is what I have for you, pile number three. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.